In this video, we're going to be discussing why there are so many different capacitor brands and which one should you use when replacing yours. The first part of that equation is pretty easy to answer. Anytime you have a large market, you're going to have lots of competition. Just look at the auto industry and see how many brands of vehicles there are. The capacitor market works the same way, of course. Everybody wants their piece of the pie. As for the second part of that equation, how do you know which one to buy? We'll spend a little bit more time on that one. There, over time, there have become more and more options in the capacitor market. And this makes it very difficult to tell if you're getting a good capacitor or a not so good capacitor. In response to this, there have been several capacitor quality tests made to help distinguish between the two. The test that is most commonly used in the United States is the EIA 456 test. And what they do for this test is they take your capacitor and they apply 125% of the voltage rating to the capacitor. Then they heat things up and they raise the temperature 10 degrees Celsius above the capacitor's temperature rating. And then they run it for 2,000 hours. Now that's almost three months of runtime. Running in this condition will actually simulate those 60,000 hours of real life condition or almost a full decade of runtime. While the test is easy enough to distinguish between the good and the bad capacitors, unfortunately, like your third grader at home, most manufacturers have learned to cheat on the test or skew the results. They do this in a variety of ways. The first thing that they might try, like your third grader at home, is they take the test, but they never tell you that there was a test and just hope that you don't ask. The second thing that they do oftentimes is they take the test, tell you how good they're doing in school, but they never quite tell you the results of the test. Many capacitor manufacturers tell you that they take the EIA test, but they never tell you how they scored on it. Or maybe they tell you that, hey, we stood up for a thousand hours of testing, which sounds great, but when you realize that the test is a 2,000 hour test, not as great. The third method, one of my favorites, is cramming. Putting all that information in your head just for the test and then forgetting it right afterwards. Many capacitor manufacturers do this too. They build their capacitors just good enough to withstand the test, but six months later you're looking at a very different piece of equipment after it's been used for just a little bit. The fourth method that the manufacturers can use uh, is unfortunately just a lie. And while you don't have to worry about that too much with North American made capacitors, many capacitors coming from Asia and don't get me wrong, there's a lot of good products coming from Asia, but there's also some products that aren't so good. They can come here with any label that they want on them, and they figure who will know the difference. And even if you do figure it out, well, guess what? There's no return policy to China, so you're just stuck with the product. So a lot of companies have found ways around this. So the question then becomes, how do you really know what you're getting? How do you really know, even with the test in place, which capacitors are more durable than the other ones? Well. A good rule of thumb is you're going to get what you pay for. Sure, you can save a few dollars and buy a cheaper capacitor, but typically that's going to catch up with you. There are price different, uh, different price levels for a reason. The best capacitors come from North America. And my personal favorite capacitor, and the one that has held up the most in our experience, is the GE or the Gentech capacitor. Now GE no longer produces capacitors or motors. They sold that division to a company called Regal Beloit, and they rebranded their capacitors and motors as Gentech. But they're still using the same factories, they're still being built the same way, they still have the highest standards, and they still have the most strenuous testing for their capacitors. So the GE capacitor, or now the Gentech, is the best capacitor on the market as far as we are concerned. In fact, the GE capacitor was the one that was used in almost all the OEM air conditioners for years and years until just recently when a few manufacturers decided to outsource uh, and look overseas for their capacitors, which caused a domino effect within the industry. Now, I just want to put a little time out here. You have to realize that no matter what capacitor you get, they do come off an assembly line, and you will, from time to time, have failures with your capacitor. That's just going to happen. But with a Gentech capacitor, you will have a fraction of the failures, the premature failures, that you will with many of these other brands. So remember, at NorthAmericaHVAC.com, we have a large line, a complete line, in fact, of Gentech capacitors. Anything that you need to get your unit up and running again, we have, and we stock heavily. But we also realize that not everyone wants the top-of-the-line capacitor. Perhaps you have an air conditioner that's 25 years old and you don't want to put a top-of-the-line capacitor in it. So we also have other brands of capacitors. Just remember, when looking through our store, pretty much what you pay for is what you're going to get. So if you need help finding the capacitor for you, you can drop us an email at info at North America, HVAC.com, and we'll have a specialist look up your unit and send you a link directly to the capacitor that you need. Or, if you want to do this in real time, you can go to our store between the hours of 8 and 4 Eastern Time, 
and you can click the live chat button at the top of the screen and we'll have an operator help you in real time find your unit. Just be sure to have the model number and the brand of the air conditioner that the capacitor goes in or have the part numbers off the capacitor itself. So I hope this video helps you and good luck with your unit.